it's Don with Focus Healthy Family, and today I welcome you to Send Back Saturday. And what we're, what I'm playing for you today is our very first podcast under the Focus Healthy Family podcast group. And unfortunately, this one we did was only audio, because back then we were doing only audio. And so in order to make it into video, I decided to put together a compilation of some video uh, work we've done since that time, um, both with podcasts and outside of podcasts. And so you can listen to the podcast and watch the videos, the little compilation of videos. So I hope you enjoy it. It's just a mix of Gina and I, uh, different videos that we've done. And it, it's our first podcast where we talk about us. So you get to know us and love to have you get to know us and love to have you uh, check out our podcast at FocusHealthyFamilyPodcast.com or any of the platforms you normally find it. So enjoy. Welcome to Gina and Don's Focused Healthy Family Podcast. Glad you joined us today for the first episode. Yeah, we thought we'd uh, share some stories with you to kind of get to know us a little better. What story can we share so they can get to know us? We have a lot of stories. (laughs) We do. I remember before I moved to Charlotte, I was in Pennsylvania. I had graduated, and I was looking through an occupational therapy magazine as I looked for a job and decided where in the country I would move to. And there was an advertisement that said, shouldn't you be in Charlotte? Little did I know I would move here and meet my soulmate. That's me, by the way. And we also have the honeymoon story. I mean, that that's a story with within a couple stories. Uh, I, I mean, I got sick, uh, food poisoning, got helicoptered to a hospital. It's a, it was a bit of an adventure. It sure was. And how about how we met? We were at the spaghetti factory for a singles group gathering. And there was a woman sitting at our table who looked at me and said, are you here with the group? And my response was, no, I'm not really here. I'm a hologram. That sparked a conversation between us because we both really loved Quantum Leap and that was a popular show at the time. You know what story we should talk about? Um, How we took a long car trip with our six week old newborn. (laughs) Oh yeah, that was (laughs) Across the country. (laughs) Well, before we get to to the stories, let's take a quick break here. because you're listening to Gina and Don on the Focus Healthy Family podcast. Let's hear a word from our sponsor. Today's podcast is sponsored by Q Sciences. Don and I discovered that the supplements we were taking and giving to our children were not being absorbed properly. I was very excited when I found Q Sciences. I was impressed with the quality of the products and that they provide maximum absorption. They have a variety of products, including a Q Max product, which is a combination of three products, including vitamins, minerals, and a probiotic. They also have hemp oil, a vitamin B12 spray, a sleep spray, and kids products. I've really seen a difference in how these products are improving how I feel, improving my mental health, and I'm happy with the quality of these products and how they're helping our whole family. If you'd like to learn more, simply go to qsciences.focusedhealthyfamily.com. That's the letter Q, sciences.focusedhealthyfamily.com. Or you can find a link on the front page of the focusedhealthyfamily.com website. And stop throwing your money away on supplements that don't work and use a quality product like Q Sciences. And we're back. So we're, we're going to tell the story now of um, our, our, our little trip across the world, it seemed like. <laughs> it felt like. So when our first child was born, Don was building a business from home, and I took a 12-week maternity week. 12 a week maternity leave from my job. I was, I'm an occupational therapist. I was working in a nursing home. And I remember I had a whole list of projects <laughs> yeah. that I wanted to do. I had 12 weeks off from work. This was a big deal, right? I had been working full time for about five years. I didn't really get to any of those projects. No, because I, I, well, you remember though, you would, you would, uh, I have two hours before he's going to need to feed again. And you'd like run out of the house and like run to do something. 
it was always a really uh, not stressful, but it wore you out, I know that, because you were... Yeah, I only did that a handful of times. Yeah. Um, I remember I started a baby book, and I think it had one page. I don't even know what became of that. We did do one big undertaking, though. We, Don's from St. Louis, and I'm from Pennsylvania. At the time, my parents and my brother still lived up in the Allentown, Pennsylvania area. And we used to alternate going to families at the holidays. And we decided we would go visit both <laughs> of them. With a six-month-old, uh, six six I guess. Six-week. Six-week-old, yes. He was born yes. November 10th, 1997. And so we decided <laughs> for Christmas, um, your family celebrates on Christmas Eve. So we bundled up in the car and made the trek from Charlotte to St. Louis, which is, I think, over it's, 700 miles. Yes, a good 14-hour drive, something like that. Yeah, I remember it, it used to take us far less than having a <laughs> child. Somehow we had a baby who slept. And we made it all the way out there, and uh, your brother was great. He gave us his bedroom, and we had mm -hmm. the porta crib for him to sleep in, and we spent just a couple days in St. Louis visiting with the family. But we left on Christmas Christmas Day. Day. We packed up, because I remember we we drove then from St. Louis to eastern Pennsylvania. And, and trying to find a restaurant. Yeah, no, we wound up at a Chinese restaurant <laughs> because that was the only some thing. Of, uh, some out of Christmas story almost. Oh, you know. The only thing open on Christmas Day. <laughs> fa ra 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 <laughs> And we met up with my family, uh, and I think it was we celebrated the next day with them. Then somehow drove all the way back to Charlotte with this six-week-old, and looking back on it, it's kind of like, wow, we were crazy. We were young, naive parents, <laughs> and uh, and yet, you know, on those that car trip, I remember, you know, I had always dreamed of having several kids. When he was sleeping in the back of the car, he typically did a lot of sleeping in the car. I remember turning to you one time and saying can't you just wait till there's like three kids back there and they're fighting and arguing <laughs> with each other? That's how I grew up. We moved yeah. away from my in -law, my, my parents and parents, my grandparents when um, we were young and three kids and making long car trips back to New Jersey. And so I kind of had that vision of what it would be like. Well, we had station wagon, three kids in the back seat and usually one or two of us in the the, well, you you call it way back. Yeah, way, yeah. You know, it was just a back where you could lay down, and you know, because I can remember falling asleep to the rumble of the, you know, the tires in the car. But so yeah, we took smaller trips when we were kids, but we were all packed in the station wagon. Yeah, we had the '77 Cutlass Oldsmobile station wagon <laughs> with a third seat that faced out. <laughs> oh yeah. Faced the other way, which was fun because when you're traveling, you get to, you used to make signs and hold them up to passing cars <laughs> and. Keeping ourselves occupied and busy. We just did the tug, you know, you tug down like honk for truckers to honk their horn. And I remember one time it <laughs> my dad was like, what, what, whoa, you know, because <laughs> he got a, you know, and he didn't, have, didn't wasn't anticipating that. Yeah, my sister invented a game called Tornado. And when a big 18 wheeler went by, it was a tornado. And if you didn't duck, your head got chopped off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we had a name for smaller trucks or whatever. It was a silly game we played. So here we are, new parents with one child sleeping in the back of the car, imagining what life would be like down the road. And, and it's kind of like that nationwide commercial. I love that commercial. You know, uh, life comes at you fast. Okay, I was thinking of the one where they're driving along and their baby oh, yeah. is in the car seat and they look back at the baby and they drive along some more and then they look back and, <laughs> he's, he's, a full grown. and he's a grown <laughs> kid in the same baby car seat. I think they might do it in a couple stages, but kind of, you know, that idea, it does happen fast. We, yeah, our kids we are it. now 12, 19, and 23. So that little baby boy is... And we recently had them all in the car when we were going, we were heading up for going, I think, on vacation, when we went uh, on vacation. And they did a little bit of arguing, so it was we got we got your dream, you know. Well, I, we've had many road trips over the past yeah. twenty three years with lots of different arguing and fighting in yeah. the car, and so that's a piece of our journey. Yeah, now you know we we're here with our family. They're slowly um, not coming up empty nesters yet, but uh, as they become we, we adults and, and two that are away now, and gone gone through different stages with them, right? We've gotten past teenage years with two children, and our youngest is twelve and a half. 
I think I calculated how many years I would we would have teenagers, and it was a <laughs> very long time, something yes. like 17 years or something. The way our kids are spread out, age gap of 11 years between the oldest and the youngest, which always makes me laugh because your mother had six kids in 11 years, and I had three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, and so we, we want to do this podcasting to help other families, you know, and using our experiences through all the things we've done. We want to be able to tell some stories. You know. Sharing our stories, sharing our struggles, our successes, what we found helpful. You know, sharing, hopefully it, we'll do some interviews. I mean, I've, I've done another podcast and I've had interviews and we want to do the same thing with this podcast. Why don't you tell us <laughs> about the Invisible Wheelchair podcast? Oh, uh, well, I, I started it and we probably aren't going to go into the story yet about our, our daughter, but uh, I started a podcast for those that are that suffer with uh, obsessive compulsive disorder because we have that within our own family and other people, any kind of really anxiety where it's, you know, I call it the Invisible Wheelchair Podcast because uh, these disorders are ones that don't necessarily have a physical sign to them. Yeah, there's a lot of illnesses like that where you're looking at the person, they you would look never know. perfectly normal, yeah. right? Yet they have these challenges or struggles. And they don't show. And you don't know what's going on inside the mind and what's inside, the, you know, behind closed doors too, you know. So it's, it's invisible. And we kind of felt that way with what we've been through with our kids. Uh, so I decided to do a podcast where I give resources and interviews with professionals, with parents, with people that are actually suffering. I've had quite a few of them on there. So in this podcast with the Focus Healthy Family, we are going to try to do the same thing, but really around the whole idea of family. Yeah, our parenting journey and overcoming different obstacles and resources we found along the way, because what we want is to help other families. And we know that, you know, if one, even if one is suffering in the family, the whole family really is affected by it. Right. You can take a child to therapy, yet it's impacting more than just one child. To have any kind of illness with your child, it affects the entire family, their siblings, the parents, anyone who's involved in that household. And it's important to look at that whole family and, and how to best help everybody. Well, even in, in my own family in the past, I, when I was really young, I lost a sister. And I was only three at the time. But as I look back on it and I see how it has affected everybody in our family with different things, and not that we're any more dysfunctional, I guess, than any other family, but uh, it, it has had effect for us all. Well, and that was back in the 1960s. <laughs> yeah, I know. And People didn't talk about things. It was, you know, a very different time yeah. period and, and different way of parenting and different dynamic entirely. Anything, you know, any challenges, even just day-to-day -day parenting challenges, even if you don't have a child with special needs or any kind of extenuating circumstances, parenting is challenging, yeah. right? Yeah. Kids don't come <laughs> with instruction manuals. And it, it's a journey. It's an ongoing journey of figuring out what works, finding your balance, finding what is important to you. You know, it's important to know what your values are and your goals are, and what is it you desire in raising your children? What what outcome would you like to see? We talk about the one child and the, the, that long trip, and thinking, you know, we, we kind of got into a rhythm with that one child, and the second child came along. We thought it would be kind of the same rhythm. <laughs> well, I remember, because I went back to work full time when yeah. the oldest was born, and I had changed jobs when the second child came along and I was only working part-time and I remember you leaving the house she was I don't know how many weeks old and I went wait a minute I've got two kids to take care of I have a four-year-old and a newborn you only had one this is very different oh yeah you know and I remember being home more I struggled with accomplishing things at work, very clear objectives. Right. I had to evaluate a patient, I had to come up with a treatment plan, we did the treatment, I had to document it. I remember making this list of different responsibilities 
not just a way of getting things done, but more of a way of like, this is what I'm doing. This is, you know, these are things that are important that need to get done. And I believe I hung it on the refrigerator. And at some point you took it down, I guess clearing things uh, up. And yeah. I was so angry at you <laughs> because it was like you threw away my list that validated me being a mother uh, and w my responsibilities at I home. I didn't realize that, that I was that shocking to you. I, I apologize. Yeah, it was it was stressful because it took some time and effort, and I actually had made it very neatly with columns, <laughs> two <laughs> lines with the ruler. Yeah, and you know, as parents, our culture in general does not recognize, you know, how important parenting is. They we talk about it, and yet the reality is, it takes a lot of time and responsibility to raise kids. It's not just getting them up and out the door to school. There's so much more that goes into well, things. Yeah. Well, I think, you know, there's that's that uh, quote that says, you know, one of the toughest jobs is parenting, you know. Um, I like the reminder, yeah. you're not managing an inconvenience. You're raising a human being. And, and that's what this is about. Our children are people, too. Yeah, one of the big things we're we hope to really expound on in, in this podcast is about respect. It's it's a big part of what we do in the practice that we do. And respect is a two-way street, right? To have res children who respect us, we in turn need to treat them with respect. And in the coming weeks and months, we're going to share more stories along our journey, and we hope you'll join us. Yeah, we want to be able to elevate parents, give them a a new possible way to look at things and do things. And hope for when you're struggling with particular issues. If you want to learn more about us, you simply can go to www.focusedhealthyfamily.com. That's focus with an ED, healthyfamily.com. And we've enjoyed talking with you today and look forward to next time. Yep, join us for our next podcast. Thanks. That's our podcast for today. We hope you have enjoyed it. We would love to hear from you. Make sure to leave us a comment. If you like what you heard today, you can learn more about our parent coaching program or join us for our next workshop. Find out at www.focusedhealthyfamily.com and follow us on Facebook at Focused Healthy Family. Remember, how you speak to your children shapes their future.
we have to learn to work as a team. We have to learn to communicate with each other and respect each other's differences and learn to work with each other. Um, I've seen businesses use team building exercises to enhance how the team functions in a lot of different settings in work.